The mountain felling giant blade build for Katakuri staff is pretty fun. If you want to hit for big numbers, this is what you want to use. Although it's kind of going to, it's going to require some setup for some fights, that's for sure. But the build or the weapon is going to have Desperation, One Stroke Fury, Mountain Flooding Giant Blade times 2, and those are my cells, enable traits, mods, whatever you want to call that stuff going on right there. And you got Mountain Flooding Blade right here, here, and then Desperation, and then One Stroke Fury. How you get those is completely up to you. Now we have the armor and the talismans. So armor is pretty standard stuff for people that run Desperation. Nothing out the ordinary. You could technically run slash bolster pants stuff. I don't think it's exactly that much better. I think battle spirit's good. I guess it depends. If you want to have a measly small amount of extra damage, you could run these. They give you plus three savage. But I think resurrection is a nice quality of life thing to have for the feet and not having to waste a talisman. Which there's a talisman that only costs 20 points if you get that. But four talismans, I got desperation 2%. I wish it was more. Desperation 6%. Wish it didn't have water boost. It is it is. Desperation 3%, 3%, and then a 4%. The majority of these came from Ember Plume, and these two came from Fervid Craze Bomb. The 6% came from the Deeply Volatile Dread Claw. Now some commentary that no one really asked for. When I'm playing the staff, I do the exact same thing at the start of pretty much every single fight, which is plant the spike thing on the monster, reducing its defenses, making it take more damage. And I'm not really sure what the best way to open is after doing that in terms of building my pips and then getting towards my mountain filling blade faster. This worked pretty well on a mighty King Tusk. Not the strongest thing in the game, not the weakest, sort of middle ground. So I'm showing you gameplay on the mighty King Tusk, after that the Tiger, and then the deeply volatile Fervid Craze Bomb. That's the plan. So in this case, you're gonna have some bacon which I have for breakfast. The goal when using Mountain Felling Blade is trying to hit weak spots, right? there, hit a weak spot, hit for 6k. Weak spots are the yellow damage. That's all you need to know. When I first started playing the game, I thought the weak spots were... I thought the yellow damage was crit. You can't really tell what crit is in this game. There's a way to tell. I always forget, because it's forgettable. But seven, 15 second fight, not too bad. Same thing, find the Golden Tempest. We're replacing the stake. Doing some damage this time, I'm not opting to do the crate spam. Instead, I'm going the regular route, which I think is pretty smart to slide into a monster and then do your combo like that. It's pretty fast. You can get, in my case, four pips very quickly. Right here, dodging like decent. Because my man is doing crazy stuff. He's going wild. Here, what I usually do, make a jump pad, swing in, and then boom, get a pip. After he does that tail swipe, you're almost always free to do that. And then if he's doing whatever he's doing right now, I just do a little box attack. I tried to make a little spring pad to iframe and get away. Didn't work out. Stayed down. Stay down, Mr. President. And now it's doing some stuff. Build my trap. I'm going to try to make my way back over to the trap. And try and get some damage in. You don't have to use traps with this weapon. But it's kind of nice not having to rely on it. If you don't want to use traps, it might be wise. What just hit me? I think I stopped talking before you even hit me because I remembered like I hit by something ridiculous there, but I'm not sure what hit me for all my HP when he's trapped. You can just use springboards. Uh, I wasn't a weak point. See the damage difference when you don't hit weak points? It's crazy. But you can just do a mountain playing blade off of a spring trap, which is pretty fast, and you can try and get parts weaker. So when you open up with the, the, the mountain playing blade, you can break apart, which staggers the monster, and then you can do more damage. When monsters run, which they do way too much in this game, and you have, mountain flame, you have your staff, you want to keep meter. You can do that by hitting small kimono. In that case, I killed that one, hit another one, and now my blade was blinking red. It was on E. But now I have it full up. I'm climbing on the monster here, planting the spike while it's doing this enrage animation, which otherwise I would be able to do nothing in. You can stay in there and springboard out. I might show a clip of that at the end. Who knows? And it's pretty consistent if you just get the timing down a little bit. And right there, we committed to this, the Mountain Valley Blade, hit for 4k. Going from the 2k, the 2.4k to the 4.3, pretty big difference. Here, I thought he was going to run away, but he didn't do that, which is nice. Much appreciated there, sir. Missed because it's too big, and I'm in the wrong area. He's dead. Nice. So that's pretty chill. Pretty decent time. 
in a decently fast fight. I just wish the monsters didn't run as much. I'm not sure how often I'll bring it up. I'm not sure how often I'll bring it up in videos, but I do believe that the kimono in this game run far too much. Me personally, I would prefer it once I reach end game. They don't run anymore at all. I think the running aspect, it's it's neat when you first play the game, but then it gets to be a little ridiculous. Do a little bit more editing here because I didn't chop up the clips like I should have. How bad. All right, now we're fighting the fervid craze bomb, the deep volatile dread claw rip claw. I'm not sure the difference. I may have fast forward a little bit just to save some time. But when he's in the air after enrage, you can build the crossbow and it'll knock him down pretty consistently, almost every single time. And the annoying part of this fight is how often he's in the air. I actually don't think this is a great fight for staff. I think it's much better for. I almost said cannon. I think every fight is good for cannon because cannon's just broken. Which I'm not sure if it's just me. Is cannon good? I feel like cannon's good. Like cannon's kind of a mechanical thing in the sense of positioning, but that's about it. And here I'm just trying to build my meter and get my pips up. I'm trying not to get kicked in the face. I shield wall that just to stop the animation a bit earlier. Because the longer he does that, the longer I'm just waiting, doing nothing, and my pips are just depleting in the duration. Getting some staggers here. Or flinches. I wouldn't call it staggers. Which is overall nice. And he's in the air just being a Goomba. Get down. Let me swing on you with my freaking barnyard blade. That's a fast animation. I think the tell for that is when he puts his foot out. Here, I think I just send it. I just send it. Hoping for a break... A Break face, face break, same thing. And did not get the weak point. This monster is hard to get weak points on, which is a big part, a big thing with this weapon. If you want to know what's fun to fight, things that don't fly, and things that are easy to hit weak points on. So Tiger is honestly an insanely good fight for the staff. It just sucks that it runs away. I, why are they all running? I'm lost in the sauce right here. Not sure what's going on. Mentally AFK. All right, just kidding. We log back in. We log back in for the day. Get kicked again. The karate kicks are my weakness. I just... I guess I never liked waxing on and waxing off. I'm not sure where I am. Oh, figured it out. I think we'll jump back on, plant the spike, and then rip out the other part. Yup. So if you plant the spike and also use your hunter's arm, you don't get hit by the blast, or you don't get CC'd by the blast, and you get uh, some thread, which is kind of nice. Right there, I built the harpoon just so I can have him on the ground for a bit longer than usual. I'm not sure if the harpoons stagger him longer than the repeater crossbows. I'd say a little bit. It's like a little bit longer. And springboards are your best friend in general. Springboards are crazy. I freaking love that. It just gives you the ability to sort of iframe and interrupt your own combos, which is something that most games don't do. And I know that people are. See, no, crossbow. People would be saying, use fireworks, use fireworks, crossbow. Ooh, face shot, dead? No, not dead. Almost dead. That's a cool move. Whenever you hear all that, that destruction going on, it just it's, it feels good. I just be springboarded like crazy. Now it's dead. I remember this. Spin. Oh. But that's the Mountain Felling Blade. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you like the commentary, let me know if it could be better. I'm, I'm aware. I'm working on it. I think the next weapon I'll be covering build-wise is a hammer build. And I'll probably make a video just consolidating all the builds. No gameplay, just going over the builds so people know. Because they're not hard. It's more like a weapon thing. The, the gear is pretty generic. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. Have a great night or day. Thank you.